The sequence begins with a left hand overtie from Nolf. To generate power for the overtie snap, Nolf performs a split step, slips his head, and aggressively pulls down on the opponent's neck, resulting in a near face plant for his opponent. As the opponent recovers, he shoots a double leg and builds up to the split the middle position. As the opponent doubles up on Nolf's left leg, he opens up space between his left elbow and left side. Nolf executes his Winn-Dixie roll maneuver by rolling over his right shoulder and using his left ankle to hook the opponent's left armpit. As the opponent is forced to his back, Nolf hooks the opponent's right arm and transitions to a cow catcher pinning sequence. The opponent defends by bellying down and posting his left hand and foot to the mat. The result is a takedown for Nolf. Today's concept is the use of creativity to exploit common positional tactics. In wrestling, there are certain commonly recurring positions that skilled competitors will find themselves in. Due to reduced variables, some of these recurring positions will elicit predictable actions or techniques from your opponent. By methodically tinkering in these positions through positional sparring, you can create new counters that exploit these common positional tactics. So let's take another look at the clip with that concept in mind. So we start with the overtie snap, watch the split step with Null's feet, he's gonna drop his head, pulls down the neck. So the hand's like a whip. The opponent's gonna shoot in. And now the opponent's gonna bring his knees underneath himself. He's gonna build his base up and now he's in this position. I'm not even sure what this is called. I've heard it called split the middle position, so we'll go with that. This is a fairly common position in college wrestling, especially. And it can be quite a stifling position for the offensive wrestler, so the wrestler that's on, the, on his knees here. The top wrestler will oftentimes grab the ankles, sometimes they'll trap one of, the, one of their opponent's arms. And what, what the top wrestler, the wrestler with their hips in the air is looking for oftentimes is a stalemate call where neither wrestler is able to improve their position, the ref blows the whistle and they, they start back up on the feet. But Nolf's actually gonna be offensive here. So this is the common position and there's a common response and that's what Nolf wants and that is this. So the opponent's gonna double up on Nolf's left leg. So you can see how Nolf right here, is kinda leaving his left leg dangling. He's inviting the opponent to grab it with both hands. And the hand that really matters is the opponent's left arm. So as soon as the opponent reaches to control Nolf's left leg with his left arm, he opens up that space between his left elbow and his rib cage, so his left side. And, and, and this armpit space really is what Nolf is going to hook with his left foot. So as soon as Nolf sees that hand or feels that hand come over, he's gonna push, he's gonna drive off the toes of that same foot and then use that foot to hook right here. So that space opens up, Nolf drives off the toes, hooks the armpit, and he's gonna roll over his right shoulder. And this is gonna force the opponent to his back. Here. Now the opponent does a pretty good job here. A lot of times Nolf will actually score back points off of this. I don't think that was the case here. The opponent's gonna belly down here. So he gets his hips pointed to the ground. Pretty good flexibility there. Nolf tries to keep the arm and get a pinning sequence, which he, which he has done before, uh, but the opponent defends well. So you can see Nolf wants to create that upper body rotation, uh, bring the opponent, break him down to his left hip. The opponent does a good job of posting on his left foot and left hand, which makes it much more difficult to do that. And he's gonna manage to get out. So just one more time on that roll. Here's the common position. There's gonna be a common response and Nolf is gonna exploit that response with this creative solution, which is, he, I believe he's named it the Winn-Dixie roll. Predictable response. 
Nolf exploits it by hooking the armpit, rolling over his right shoulder. And then hooks the arm as well, making it difficult for the opponent to get his belly to the floor. Let's see that clip once more in slow motion, and then once more in full speed. That's it for day five. Thanks for watching.